Do tongues have noses too? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. What if noses weren't the only body parts that could smell? What if our tongues could smell too? Well, then I would say, finally, I can now smell this much further. In front of my face. Well, that's exciting. And the truth is, recent <laughs> findings suggest that tongues can actually smell. Yes. And we're gonna put that suggestion to the test today. It's time for, can we smell it at? With our tongues. Time for a little Boopity boop 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 research. Yes, olfactory cells are responsible for relaying smells to your brain. Now these primarily are in your nose, but they've also been found in your gut, in your hair, in your sperm. What? <laughs> yeah. And a new study from the Monel or the Monel, I don't know. Uh, Montel Williams? Yeah. Chemical Census Center suggests there may be some olfactory cells in your tongue as well. And can so can your sperm I don't know! That's Smell? not what we're gonna explore today. We're gonna explore that next year on Good Mythical Evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this study, scientists exposed lab-grown human taste cells. I know, it always makes me feel weird when they're growing. You don't like labs? Well, I like labs, but they're growing human taste cells. They're not growing humans yet. They could've just, could they have just scraped them off a human and not grown? I, I don't know. know, I'm not a scientist. They exposed lab-grown human taste cells to odor molecules and found that the taste cells reacted to the odors in the same way that our smell cells do. Yes. So this has opened the scientific community up to the idea that noses may not have a monopoly on smelling. Tongues may actually be able to smell as well in sperm. I feel like my nose kind of works fine. I mean, it does make me feel a little bit more like a snake because they don't. They this use is how their we're going to become snakes. They they use their tongues to smell. Yeah, and your our arms are going to start to become smaller, and our tongues. Well, are let's start see how well this works, uh, Stevie. How are we going to explore this today? So each round, there'll be an assortment of scented items on the desk, and you're going to try and differentiate the smells in particular ways only by tongue smelling the aromatic air around each item. <laughs> okay. um, there are no points today. There are no prizes. There are no punishments. There There's are no just winners. science. It's all science. All, all science. not lab-grown mm. science. All science, all day, all right. the time. Okay, boys, in this first round, there will be four foods in front of you. Two will smell great and taste great, and two will smell really bad and probably don't taste so great. Okay. And what okay. you're going to do is you're going to smell each one with your tongue, and based on what your tongue smells, you're going to choose which one you'd like to eat, and then you're going to have to eat it. You can't see any of these things, you know. You're just using your tongue smell. Yes, of course. And um, to make things a little bit more interesting, you may not pick the same food as the other guy. So to decide who gets to choose first, you must draw tongues. And by that, I mean draw tongues. Look at this contraption. Lucas Mad Dog has, has given us a four-tongued... Devil. Four-tongued devil. Four-tongued... Which one is your heart calling you to? Why, why are you doing it like that? Uh, the third one. Oh, my heart's calling me to the second one. All right. Three. Well, two. you pull the, pull the second one. Okay. And then if I pull the third one. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Which won. one's longer? I got the longer tongue. Okay, Link gets power of choice. As you can smell, we can't. Uh. Yes. And see. See, we also can't we see. We can't see this or smell. This is what smell. it feels like to be a mouth breather. Our noses are stopped, and they're very slenderized, are they not, Stevie? What? Our noses are... Our noses are slenderized. Are slenderized. Yes, your noses are slenderized. Thank you. Um, you look wonderful. Okay, so you each have those four jars I told you about in front of you. Uh, so you each uh, have your own. So you're going to start on your far right. <laughs> no, is this a wild right No, now? one over right. Oh, there's some sort of. Is there a perf? Is there what? Is stick it, your stick your. Do I have to stick your tongue in? I have to like. Sh I have to make a. I have to perforate it with my tongue. No, there's a hole. There's a hole. Oh, there's a hole. Huh. 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 I feel like my tongue is gonna did slobber you, on whatever. Did you it smell is. anything with your tongue? I don't think I did. No. <laughs> I felt something emotional. <laughs> Like I felt 
and I don't want to tell you what it is, but it felt like a darkness. I felt like an emotional darkness. I feel like I'm back at middle school when I was practicing kissing by making out with my bedpost. <laughs> okay, now you can move on to yeah. the second one. I didn't get anything from that. You didn't get emotional darkness? I think if it's nasty, it's gonna it's gonna come forth. Huh. <laughs> Boy, this has to be great to watch. I feel very weird. I smell something on this one. With I your tongue? Yep. I smell something. I would it does it translate into a feeling? Uh, because I mean it's, it's your brain is not interpreting it. I don't have a feeling about the this nose. One. I have a legitimate smell. This is emotional darkness and this is an actual smell. I smelled something. I'd be surprised that you if you don't. It, but it was can I ask strong. Aren't aren't you just tasting the air around? Well, what's the, the thing? difference between tasting the air and smelling? I mean that's true. <laughs> I don't know. Ask Confucius. I think that's what we've done. Is that you can smell with your tongue because you can taste the yeah, air. Yeah, when you your smell tongue. somebody's farts, you're like tasting their farts. That's no, kind of what's happening. Yeah, it's fart particles, man. That's what smell is. Your nose is just tasting things. I'm gonna go to the third one. But Link, you can't. You you're can't saying taste you anything? can't smell the second one. Uh, okay, let's try the third oh. one. I thought it was kind of nice. I'm gonna try to make my tongue drier. <laughs> Move your tongue in a clockwise motion. <laughs> You create like a tongue fan. I think I felt a little something on that one. You felt it? Or tasted it? Because I felt, I, I didn't I have taste. both felt and I'm taste. not tasting anything. I'm smelling with my tongue, but I think I felt a sensation. What was the sensation? Explore it. It was almost... Fear. Pr it was prickly. <laughs> How do you feel, Link? I feel prickly. Fourth. Okay, the last one. I got to go back to the first one. Hmm. Second one. Okay, I think I know which one I want to taste, but I don't. I don't have the power of choice. You got to go first. I, I'm willing to taste this one because I I have a good. Which one? What number? I can't see this one. The first <laughs> number, one. Number one. Okay. Number one. The one that gave me fear. I'm gonna taste the last one because it gave me nothing. I want you to taste the third one. The second one is the only one that I am definitively sure is something that you don't want to taste. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. go ahead and, and take your blindfolds off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is... Okay, so the one that you said you're definitively sure you should not consume, that's coffee. Yeah, the I, one, I hate uh, coffee. <laughs> The one that brought you like good emotions that Link put, you know, picked is cinnamon rolls. No, that that was I was I, that brought yeah. me uh, dread. That oh, sorry, fear. I thought you felt deep emotion in it. Oh, in a dark way, dark yeah, way. Dark. Yeah, that I'm, that was I'm, cinnamon rolls. I'm definitely afraid. Of so you're afraid of cinnamon rolls and coffee. Yeah. Um, you've chosen the century egg because you got nothing from century it. Century egg. And the prickly That's one, Link's prickly one, is uh, fish eyes that are ground hey. up with more fish eyes in them. It's weird because the coffee one, the thing that I smelled was garlic. I don't know. It was like, oh, this is a super garlicky one. I don't know what happened. They went a lot harder than garlic, my friend. Century egg's not bad. It just tastes like a really old But look egg. at it. Hey. Is it crunchy? When you can't smell it, it just tastes like you're eating a regular hard-boiled egg. Yeah, but look at it. No, I don't, not me, you. Smell it. <gasps> I'll stick with this. Okay, so we've tested your tongues against the smell of foods, but now it's time to test them against smells that are favorable and unfavorable to you personally. Okay. Because okay. this round, we've swapped out the foods for perfume, and two of them smell objectively awful. They're not even real perfumes. But the other two are scents you should be very familiar with. Rhett. Your wife wears one of the scents every day. And Link, one of the scents was worn by your wife on your wedding day. And your job this round oh, is to identify. Because your wife doesn't wear perfume now because it gives you headaches. So we had to go all the way back to your right. wedding day, I guess. I'm such a tyrant. So I have a slight advantage here. And I regularly lick my wife, so. <laughs> On the neck. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, so you can, you're identifying the smell of your wife and you can both pick the same jar. So there's no power tricks or anything. You look great, by the way. Um, yeah. I love this look I love for what you. you've done. I love, if you're, are you simulating the work that you want to have done in your nose? You want to be de denostril? Yeah, I don't need nostrils. Oh. Who needs them? All right, let's go. I will say the stakes are that your wives know about this round. And so they will be asking if you got it correct. Okay. And then they will be looking at you with shame if you didn't. There's definitely something in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's it's prickly. Uh, <laughs> see, and I wonder, I usually, I get a headache by smelling. So which one of the, these gives me a headache? And I must say, Jesse's perfume really gives me a headache. I just don't, I haven't. I just didn't feel like I could tell All her. perfume I, gives you a headache. Not all perfume. You don't even let your wife wear any. Like some some more lotion-y, fruity perfumes. Yeah, don't. ones that don't smell like perfume. But like, I now have a headache. I'm just gonna say that. And I did not, you know, I didn't smell anything. Already? Yes. Huh. Ugh. Good Lord. That is, whoa. Strong. That That's, one's strong. It's really prickly. It, I feel like I could almost taste that one. Does that mean I'm smelling it? It's weird because I don't think I'm tasting. I think I'm smelling with my tongue and I don't think my brain knows what to do with it. Because I literally tasted garlic, but it was coffee, so I wasn't actually smelling garlic. Right. Let's go for the third one. Hmm. Subtle. I'm not getting anything here. Subtle. Different. What did Christy wear on our wedding day? It's freaking 23 years ago. First, you were strong. He was probably Bath and Body Works, uh, that nice fruity fruity. That second one is unreal. Let me, just see if, let me just see if my, when I stick my tongue into this hole, if my wife I comes to mind. I do have a headache. <laughs> now that I, this one gave me a headache, but would this one also give me a headache? If I didn't already have a headache. Okay, I got to guess. This okay, you can guess the same thing. So by all means, whenever you're ready. Um, no, this is Jesse. No, well, no, that one might be Jesse. This one is super, super, super strong. This one is Jesse. I don't consider... The one that gave me a headache is Jesse. And I know that's not what I'm supposed to be saying. So I think you're wrong. You should change the one. Well, I'm going. I can't change my answer now. I've already chosen. Oh man, this is this is my Christie right here. You're making me feel a little weird. Uh, I'm sorry if that's true. <laughs> okay, you've both picked the one that Celine just said is the worst smell she's ever smelled in her life because it's <laughs> it's a prank perfume that's supposed to be the scent of butt. Um, <laughs> well, I didn't tell you which hole. <laughs> Okay. We both thought our wives smelled like butt. <laughs> yeah, we're both in we're both in the doghouse tonight. <laughs> What's interesting is that the one, the second one that you were both like, oh, this is super, super strong. That was Christie's Victoria's Secret Strawberries and Champagne. Oh, so this was Jesse. No, four was Jesse's Moonlight Rose perfume oil. And then one is a prank one. So you can go ahead and take your, if you want to take your um, yeah. nose slenderizers off, uh, um, you can, why don't you go ahead and start with oh three. God. Start with three, I think. Oh, first of all, everything. what's on my tongue? Oh, gosh, now I'm smelling it without even smelling what's coming out. Oh, yes, that's bad. Oh. I don't want to, I don't want to get closer Dude. to any of them. I got to smell my wife. I'm smelling the oh, butt. Oh, that's my wife. Wait, which one's my wife? <laughs> smell, s smell the. No, I want to smell my wife. That's yeah. not Link. That's not. That's another prank perfume you're smelling. It's fine. It's my, not butt. My wife smells like one of those psychic stores. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> she does. It's patchouli, man. Isn't it? She hypnotizes me. Yeah, it's got patchouli in it. Mm. That's why I like yeah. it. You smell a promo. Yes. Yeah. Our well-loved glow-in-the-dark Constellations tea is now available in this hoodie and jogger and 
water bottle Whoa, set. What you can do with yourself. That's right. And I, it even says mythical right there. Yeah, and the whole thing doesn't go in the dark. Only the actual star lines, the actual constellations yeah, very, very in everything cool. glow in the dark, which is super cool. And this is 17 ounces. Whoa, 17? <laughs> yeah. To oh. so get it all at mythical.com if you like stars. Okay, for your final tongue smelling exam, we're taking things to a more extreme level. There are going to be four items in front of you. Two are going to smell quite lovely. Yeah. Two are going to smell quite awful. Okay. You're going to tongue smell all of them and choose which one you think smells best. So but far, you've got this is all normal. To choose carefully because uh, not only is the integrity of science on the line, kind of, yeah. uh, still, um, but also you're going to have to hang the item that you choose around your neck for all of Good Mythical oh, More. Oh, come on. Yeah, with the, with the nose slenderizers mm. off. Oh, my um, goodness. Okay. So you, you can't choose the same item, so let's do power of choice again. Is your, is your heart drawing you to one? Mm, the top one. <laughs> oh. Maybe it should have been the bottom one. I don't know. That seems pretty long. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that is gotcha. close. But you get the power of choice this time. All right. As you can see, we can't again. Okay, the jars are in front of you. You know what to do. Go for the first one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh. See, I'm st I've learned to listen to the tingle. Listen to the tingle. And there was a little bit of the a- The prickle. A prickle. No, I would say there was a tingle in that one, not a prickle. In the first one? Yeah. Did you get anything? Nothing. I'm getting a softness, this one. I just took a little nap in that one. It's so soft, isn't it? Soft? Yeah. Why is it so soft? Sure, that's what I was thinking, soft. That's, I got nothing for that Like skin's so soft. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, that Put oil. Put it all for the gnats. That oil that like Amway salesman would Put it Push on, on the gnats. Y'all have gnats where you grew up? Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Starts with a G. Yep. G N A T S. Actually, I'm actually getting the softness for the third one. Usually, the thing I found is that where there are gnats, there are grits. Uh, slight acidity on number three. It, it attacked my tongue a little bit. It attacked my tongue a little bit. I say things twice now. I took another nap. Before. I say things twice now. Um. <laughs> oh. Shazam. The strongest smell yet on number four. Not for me, and no pricklies, no tingling. No, I like it though. I like it. Fruity. I want number four. Uh oh, no, now it's, getting, now it's getting bad. Now my tongue's stinging. Stinking? Stinging. With a G, like gnat. Let me smell your tongue with my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was risky. That was real risky. I gotta listen to my. Okay, I gotta Rhett, listen you, to my you prickle. You have the choice, the power of choice here. Yeah, Rhett. I gotta be honest with you. I smell something fruity in this one, so I'm choosing it. Is that four? Okay. You said. Yep, yep, four. Rhett's choosing four. See, I know I don't want to choose one because I got a tingle, which is a cousin to the prick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> prickle. This one's softer. You thought this one was soft. This gonna, is a soft one. I'm gonna go with two. Yeah, you went with the soft okay. one. But one is the only one I knew I didn't want. Okay. Let's okay, look. you're both locked in? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and look. Oh, crap. What is yeah. that? Air Literally. The link you chose dirty diapers. Dirty <laughs> diaper? I, I said it was felt soft, isn't that weird? And I said this one was like fruit. And it's little tree, summer linen. <laughs> The one that you knew you didn't want, the first one, is just like flowers, botanicals. Yeah, I hate flowers. And then uh, the two soft ones are the the dirty diapers and the rotten eggs. So, I mean, each, rotten eggs. I mean, maybe rotten eggs smells worse. I don't know. I mean, I you're really have thought to wear dirty we would diapers get rotten eggs. Oh, right. does that not smell a little fruity? No, it smells like linen. <laughs> I definitely was getting some of this, oh, but it was... Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Is that what he's got to put around oh his neck? Oh my gosh! Who brought that in, <laughs> Carney? <laughs> oh, it's dog crap. Oh my gosh, you put dog dookie yeah. in the... Here you go, you got to wear it around your neck, so you might as well have both of them. Oh no! I'm just going to have little trees around my neck. 
Oh. Okay, so what did we learn today? Uh, I learned that I can sense the softness of something with my tongue. I knew that diapers were soft. Uh, legitimately, I did smell something with this, and I think it's just so strong. But because my tongue hasn't yet learned how to communicate smell to my brain, it interprets linen as fruit. I learned to listen to the prick. So I got to train my tongue. Thanks for subscribing to the beer. You know what time it is. Good Neopical morning, everybody. My name is Carly, and I work in the cat room at my local animal shelter. And now it's time to spin the wheel of Neopicality. Neopicality. <laughs> uh, you can't not like that. Click the top link to watch us try and match perfumes to their quirky little bottles. And go mythical more. And if I know where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Check out our new Mythical Constellations glow-in-the-dark merch featuring a hoodie, jogger, and water bottle at mythical.com.